Hello everyone, this is Brandon here, aka The Outlandish Gamer. Today we're going to be playing Metal Gear Solid, which I'm pretty sure everyone watching this video will have heard of that game. <laughs> Basically, this is a game that I've wanted to play for a long, long time, but I just never had the opportunity to. So today we're going to be checking it out, seeing is it as good as people say, uh, does it still hold up, and yeah, let's just get into it. It's like a movie. Is this like James Bond or something? The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago oh, I know that was bloke. attacked and captured by next generation special forces, being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. That doesn't sound good. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. This is a lot of pressure for one guy. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit. <sighs> one that I was a commander of. You didn't do a very good job, did you? There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. <laughs> the nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Don't worry, man. I'm used to going it alone. Also, was that the guy that did the voice of Geralt? I don't really know what I'm getting myself into, to be honest. David Hater. Don't be a hater, Snake. There's no worse thing to be. Cinematics in this game are quite impressive so far. I mean, obviously graphically it's, you know, outdated, but... Stay alert. If you'll be through here, I'd know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bombers and flies. Okay, see you in a bit, mate. Jeez, that is an incredibly slow elevator. I'm in. This better not be about my extended warranty. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, Push the select button. Thanks, mate. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. Oh. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Yeah, that sounds healthy. I'm sure that won't have any long-term effects on my hearing or anything. Okay, I am in the game. 
How do I stealth? Oh god, push select. Hello. Snake, you have to crawl to get through there. First, crouch down by pressing the crawl button, <laughs> and then use the directional button to crawl. Thank you, Lieutenant you Tutorial. Be careful, though. Crawling is slow, and you can't attack when you're doing it. Who the hell are you? You can stand up by pressing the crawl button again. Okay, I'm crawling. I'm doing it. I'm gaming. Ugh, what is it, man? I'm trying to play the game. Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. You said I gotta find somewhere to hide? Oh god, he heard me. Oh god. I already feel like I'm not playing this game very well. Oh god. Oh jeez. This is really scary. Okay, he's bored. Okay, good. Alright, I just had to wait. I, I was terrified for absolutely no reason. Um, sir, could you bugger off? Ah, oh, god damn it, they're boxing me in. And I don't have a box yet. Okay, uh, avoid the puddle and go in the elevator. Because, yeah, the elevator's... This isn't loud, this isn't obnoxious or anything. <laughs> I definitely won't notice this. Okay, well that took me way, 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 way longer than it should have. Which is brilliant. Jeez, Yoji did a lot, didn't, she? Uh, didn't they? Don't assume genders of people you don't know, Brandon. You know better than that. Alright, he's getting changed. Uh, is he just leaving all that there? Or... <gasps> there he is. It's Snake. Otherwise known as David Hater, apparently. I expect this is like a really dumb question, but... Are all of the Snake characters the same? Or are they like multiple people just with the same code name? I guess I'll find out. Also, I do hope that the graphics look okay because I know like before when I've played PS1 games some people have said like oh change the graphics settings but I try to play the games in their original form just because I want to get the true experience but if I do do future videos on this let me know if you want me to change the graphics settings around and I can make it look a little bit less pixelated if that's your cup of tea you know Great, another phone call. I'm definitely not going to get tired of that. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. You did one thing. Good job. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Terrorist radar. Wish we had one of them in real life. Make things a lot easier. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? What would Russians be doing with terrorism? But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. Yeah, you're welcome. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. Ew, ew. You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. You don't call me Solid Snake for nothing, you know? I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. It's Snake. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar. So contact us by codec anytime you want. Okay, I probably Got won't it. do that. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. 
My frequency is 140.96. Okay. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. <laughs> Don't forget it. Uh, actually, I probably will. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. I've been traumatized. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks oh. to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. I'm a chain smoker. I'm addicted to nicotine and many other controlled substances. If you want to get in, there's the front door. Whoa, okay. The game's playing it's itself. <laughs> way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Why not? There's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers, pineapples. Damn it. I'm only used to dealing with bananas. Never dealt with pineapples before. What about the air duct near the door? Can the game just play itself and I'll just watch? <laughs> there should also be a duct on the second floor. Right, so I have multiple options for infiltration. I can go through the front door, or I can fly using my snake wings. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, snake. Okay, man, I won't let you down. Well, he won't, I probably will, but anyway. I think the problem with having to fill the shoes of a character like Snake is like, he's meant to be this like amazing, you know, assassin, secret agent guy. A surveillance camera? Doesn't know what surveillance camera is. And then it's like, I've never played this game before, so <laughs> I'm just gonna end up dying a lot and everything's gonna be great. And I will have to cut a lot out of this because obviously stealth games are very slow. So apologies for that. <sighs> There's another security camera over there. I guess there's just one either side. How do I get past the security cameras? Is there a way to turn them off, maybe? Yeah, the security camera's gonna see me. Well, that guy's gonna see me as well. Or is he going over there? Oh, good. He's going over that way. All right. Okay, cool. I'm going up. It's gonna take a while to get used to the camera as well. Uh, all right, go over here so this guy doesn't see me. Hopefully he won't. If this was any other stealth game, I would literally, like, lure him over here, but like I said, I have no idea how to stealth kill people. I know Square is like the action- oh god, why is he coming all the way over here? Dude, can you go away? Thank you. Okay, you're not fully away yet. Yeah, the one thing about these guards is that they are actually quite alert. Hey, it's like Takeshi's castle, there's like a hidey hole here. I assume that if I'm stood in here, like, they're not gonna see me. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, uh, tell me what I'm doing, man. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion what? with a hind D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Oh. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. Yeah, 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 I get it, man. Okay, good. Finally, Jesus, that took way longer than it should have. Okay, I'm in. Couldn't have given me a torch or something oh god man how many times are you gonna call me snake this is mcdonald miller it's been a long time master what are you doing here i quit being a drill instructor so i moved out here for some peace and quiet well i know lots about survival in a harsh environment i've lived in alaska longer than you so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here my frequency is 141.80. <laughs> cool. I think I've got bigger problems than like going, oh, what's that animal over there? Or, oh, look at this flower. It's so beautiful. I don't know if there's like a crafting system in this game. Like maybe I can make poisons or something out of different plants. Like if I find foxglove or something. Aha. Uh -huh. Another cutscene. Huh? I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. Wait a minute. I'm not a rat. I'm a snake. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? I think I know why they call him Solid Snake, because he's obsessed happened? with women. An intruder. Really? He's already done three people. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? 
Anyway, I haven't killed anyone yet. I gotta kill people quick. I can't have this guy beating me. Okay, thanks for all the information, guys. Appreciate it. I wonder if this is the kind of game where there's multiple endings or like multiple paths you can take. Although I don't know much about this game itself. It's an incredibly influential game. I don't think anyone who has ever played anything hasn't heard of Metal Gear. Press the action button to drop down. <laughs> Thanks for that, man. I appreciate the help. Oh, God. Dude, I'm like right in the middle of this. Use the elevator to change floors. I get it, man. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. I gotta go to the first floor. I got it, man. Thank you. Oh, God. Quick, 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 quick. I feel like most of the commentary I'm going to be making is just me going, Oh, God, oh, jeez, oh, man. All right, run, run, run. Snake, stop getting stuck on the walls. Okay, is this the elevator? How do I interact with it? Okay, maybe if I call this guy and be like, uh, Dude, how do I use elevators? I'm an idiot. Snake, that door is protected by a security system. Oh. Okay, thank you. So I assume I have to, like, knock out these guys or kill them. And then I'll... Okay, get him, get him. Oh, fuck. Okay, I managed to get one of them. I don't know if he's dead, though. Oh, fuck's sake, he isn't dead. Sorry. So I, I hold square to grab them and then repeatedly press square and they go and then they die. It also kind of feels like getting caught in this game doesn't really matter. Gameplay wise, it's not like you're caught and you're fucked like a lot of stealth games. Uh, okay, he is apparently <laughs> confused that I threw him on the ground, but he's not too worried about that. I mean, I might as well just kill this guy because he might have an item on him possibly. Wait, where did you come from? Snake! Don't look to your left, man. Yeah, good. Just keep going. Oh, bullets. Oh, wait. Do I have a gun now? Is that what the the SOCOM was a gun? Uh, oh, right. So I actually have a gun. Okay, semi-automatic pistol. Hold down to aim and then release to fire. Well, that's a little bit weird, but okay. Dude. Help me. How do I go in here? To call the elevator, press the button on the nearby <laughs> control panel by pressing the action button. <laughs> the elevator should show up in no time. Thank you. I appreciate that, man, but you've already told me that I need to find a fucking key card. Unless maybe these elevators down here don't need a key card. Okay, I just had to do that. Oh, damn it, I missed... Oh, right, no, I couldn't grab it because it was grenades. Go to the basement, then. I thought it was the first floor I had to go to, but maybe I was already on the first floor. Goddamn confusing. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Okay, lady, thank you. I'll do that. I sort of almost wish that he would press the button and be like, I can't go in here. But I guess the red on the map is... Wait, why is he orange? Dude, why is he orange? Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. <sighs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Tutorial, dude. It's games like this why people take the piss out of tutorials. I did it. I pressed the triangle button. A DARPA dude. me, Solid Snake. I'm here to rescue you or something. I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? It's made by Gucci. I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? 
Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How did they plan to launch? Well, that was this. I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the earth. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. That'll do it. This does kind of seem like a James Bond plot. <laughs> Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? Oscar's not that bad, is it? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. Why would you mass produce something that could launch nukes? I guess to control the world. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. <laughs> the code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? <laughs> but I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. Oh no. Talked. Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psycho Mantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. These walls are thin. <laughs> she can hear us. If they find out Baker's password... We're all fucked. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. Kill everyone. The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. Kind of surprised they let you keep that, to be honest. Personal area network, huh? As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the PAL, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorists' demands? That's their problem. 
It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? Oh, God. What is it? It's Psycho Mantis. He's been psycho murdered. Huh. Dead. At least he died after he told me all the information. That's convenient. I'm a uh, good news and bad news. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but a heart attack. No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Okay, dude, but I don't really trust you. Can I... Oh, uh... Snake, get your face away from his booty. Sorry, man, but thanks for the help. Wait, so if that cell was unlocked, how the heck? What the... So you killed the chief, you bastard. It was a bit, I swear. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. The guy's very naked. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <laughs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! <laughs> You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot! Okay. Okay, uh... Duh. Jesus. On that note, I think we're going to end it here. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to leave it a like, uh, feel free to leave a comment. If you do want me to play any more of Metal Gear Solid, I'm more than happy to do that. I will probably do a video on the sequels at some point, but I would like to play through the first game in its entirety first, just so I can get the full kind of Metal Gear experience. Anyway, other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.